Um, hello, everybody. I just wanted to put this clip up here uh, regarding Kanye's Kanye West visit to the White House. And uh, some things happened after he went to the White House. There was a lot of individuals that spoke up. And uh, it bothered me to, to a certain degree. And so Kanye West went to the White House to talk to President Trump. He requested to do that. And the President Trump granted, granted him his, his request. The good thing for Kanye West is he is not a politician. I mean, that's great for Kanye West because the political arena is competitive. And his political opponents would crucify Kanye on his character being in lifestyle alone. This type of thing happened to Tupac Shakur when he was alive. What is troublesome about Kanye's White House visit is the response he got from the black political leaders from various political parties. There were responses uh, from respectable people in non-political positions that also gave their opinions all negative regarding Kanye West's White House meeting with President Trump. I don't believe that they should have responded in the manner they did. President Trump has an open door policy and he extended his office to the NAACP. President Trump offered to meet with NFL Players Association. President Trump also offered to meet with black leaders uh, um, throughout the country. The black population is asking for help, and yet these leaders have not sat down with Trump to discuss the problems that some of these neighborhoods and cities are facing. The black political leaders in this country are supposed to be doing what Kanye West did. Many black political and non-political leaders displayed in-depth knowledge of the issues that Kanye touched based on during the White House visit. Uh, Kanye mentioned the 13th Amendment. If Kanye wants to be a slave, the 13th Amendment does not bar him from being a slave. If he wants to be a slave, he can be a willing slave. The 13th Amendment bars slavery and involuntary servitude, but he can be a willing servant. So the 13th Amendment should not have been spoken of. And there are individuals out there that know that, that haven't said nothing uh, regarding this, and they haven't decided to go and visit Trump to try to tackle some of these issues, not the 13th Amendment issue. So that's definitely, uh, he's, he's on his own if he wants to be a slave. But again, the black population is asking for help. The black population are supposed to be doing what Kanye West did. Many black political and non-political leaders displayed this knowledge. And, and, but they only spoke to reporters which do not have the capabilities to allocate funds, implement rules and regulations, enforce existing rules and regulations, petition companies to invest in poverty-stricken neighborhoods and assemble collective support uh, for said communities. They can uh, repeal laws uh, on, on substantial grounds that it's not beneficial to continue to persecute individuals under one uh, statute or another. The black political leaders can do this. All leaders can do this. President Trump can do these things and more. The immigration issue is a Latino issue. There have been 110 prisons built in the last 18 years. Not one detention center has been built to house illegal immigrants since Columbus landed. With all of these prisons being built, black people feel that they are being attacked, yet crime has to be dealt with. The mayors in every city on the border from Florida to Washington have the power to request funding for detention centers to house illegal immigrants that have been captured. To touch base on what a, a detention center is, I'll uh, expand on that somewhat. When people come in for citizenship, they apply through the embassy. Foreigners seek asylum through the embassy. This country has more immigrants than criminals. Many of these immigrants are not criminals. They should be housed separately from criminals who are housed in the penal institutions due to the nature of the immigrants' citizenship status. Plus, they haven't broken any laws. Bilingual officials from the embassy should be part of the staff of said detention center. The detention center should not detention should not be really called a detention center. 
um, I can't think of a better name, but basically it's like a, a holding center, for lack of a better word. And it should have an area designated for administrative hearings. The governing body at the center should have the power to grant citizenship or, or deport the individual. Each case is different from the next, or each case will be different from the next. If the case requires petitioning to a higher court to grant citizenship, the said immigrant would reside in the center until the case is decided. The immigrant will be allowed to go to work and live as a free citizen with temporary residency and until the case is decided. Every mayor in this country had and still has the power to get this situation under control. They have the power to build these facilities. My problem is this. Why did not the leaders and elected officials go to the president to bring about change instead of allowing the American public to suffer while these politicians are getting paid to represent the people? The non-political leaders are not, but yet they step to the microphone and critique Kanye this, uh, to all these reporters. That's not the individuals they need to talk to. With the knowledge that they display, with the knowledge that some of these individuals display and their command of the English language, I'm quite sure they can put together a, 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 a petition or sit down and converse with the president in a non-vulgar manner, which seems to be the, 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 the brunt of their argument that Kanye was crude and, and used vile, repulsive language, MF, that, and damn this. But no matter how you say it, he said, damn, we need jobs. This individual is a goddamn nut. Or this MF needs this or that and the other. But yet, if you uh, read between the lines and you have, and these individuals who spoke against Kanye West, if they read between the lines, which they did, they know exactly some of the things that he's talking about and could explain it more in detail and elaborate with uh, facts and figures to substantiate their argument better than Kanye West did. My argument is you, Kanye West did it and you throw, you throw stones at Kanye West, but why didn't you do it? And I'm not pointing the finger at one. I'm speaking to every individual that professes to be a leader or a politician in this country, why haven't you sat down with the president instead of throwing a stone at Kanye West? 